it's time for us to get rich slowly. You see, my current businesses are incredibly unsuccessful. I mean, Odea's never really had a customer. My industrial day pass store does seem to be getting customers, but the issue is, is that obviously that they come over here and they actually take all the things from the industrial district, which means I currently have no gunpowder. I'm having to buy all of my fireworks and I'm probably spending more on fireworks than I'm actually making in the industrial day pass store. It really isn't a good situation. You know, we've got Pacific that's on the horizon and hopefully that's going to generate tons upon tons of diamonds, but at the minute it's not finished and it's a very expensive store to build. So I've hatched an absolutely genius plan. I'm just going to mine for a really long time. A uh, hundred days to be exact. I'm going to mine for a hundred Minecraft days and that will give me all the resources I need. As I say, genius. So I have all of my torches lined up. I have all of my diamond pickaxes on the way and they are about to be very much enchanted. And now I think we're ready to start working. Half an hour later. Okay, now I think we're ready to start working. The first blocks are about to be mined and we are away. 100 Minecraft days from this point forth. That's actually, that's starting to seem like quite a long time now. I'm already bored. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. But we have just received our first precious items. I mean, they're not, they're not that precious. You know, I'm, I'm hoping for more precious things than this, but coal is good. You know, I've just built an enormous super smelter. So I guess, yeah, coal is very, very useful. I mean, I've got a little bit of gold over there, but I really don't care about gold. That happened a lot sooner than I was expecting. We've barely left the beacon. So we've got our first diamonds. Let's see. It's a good, it's a good vein. And it comes with a bunch of extra stuff. We got 13 diamonds. This project has already been more successful than oh dear. This is incredibly satisfying. I wonder if I'm going to be saying that in 18 hours time. Oh baby. Yes. One Minecraft day has passed and the morning has brought with it plenty more diamonds. That is solid. Oh my goodness. This is a good day. This is a very, very good day. I think I might be on track to break the record of most diamonds mined in one Minecraft day. I mean, that was a nine vein. A nine vein's basically unheard of. Come on, I must be able to find more diamonds before bedtime. Sadly, I did not. But I am not upset with the number of resources that we managed to get in our first two Minecraft days. I was starting to get a little bit worried that day three wasn't going to be my day, but this has changed things. Ah, oh, just before bedtime, we find some more. Yes. 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 <laughs> That was a lot in quick succession. I might not have to do 100 days at this rate. I think 20 days could be enough, but that doesn't sound anywhere near as good in a title. We are on our way to day five. I think this is day five. Day six. Day seven. Day eight. Day nine. And day 10. So I think it's high time that we do a quick resources check to see how much we've managed to get in this time. And I gotta say, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this much. Like this is, this is really good. I mean, I've already got more diamonds than I had at the start of this process. So I've already made more than I actually already had, which is fantastic. I think I now have a full stack of diamond blocks. But what I'm arguably more impressed with is the amount of redstone and the amount of coal that I've managed to get as well. This is, this is solid. I mean, if we get 10 times this amount over the process, we're going to be like rolling in resources. Like, absolutely rolling in resources. Anyway, I think I have fully cleared this place, so now it's time to pack everything up and move to the next location, which I imagine will take a couple of days in of itself. Clearing out space for my beacon. Day 11. Haste 1, haste 2, let's go. It's time for a 20-day Minecraft time lapse. And you know what's interesting about doing this sort of thing is you get a lot of time to think. You know, I was mining there for just over four hours and I've been going for way over six hours in total. I, I've had a lot of time for my brain to have thoughts and they just flow in and come out and I'm just thinking about all sorts of different things and what I realized is this might be one of the last major mining sessions I do in the current terrain of Minecraft, the terrain of Minecraft I'm so used to. It's the terrain that really hasn't changed since I started playing. You know, th th is what this is Minecraft to me. It's going to be so bizarre when we switch over to the new terrain in Minecraft 1.17 with the caves and cliffs and all of these crazy cave systems and all of the crazy new stone types and the way that ores are generated, it's gonna take a lot of shifting around and there's gonna be new techniques. I don't even know where the best place to mine ores is anymore. I'm gonna be completely brand new to this. I'm gonna make so many mistakes. Everyone's gonna laugh at me down in the comments section. I can just see it happening. I, I, can, I, can already, I can already feel that happening. Anyway, all nostalgia aside, we are now 33 days into this process and all is going pretty well. So this is how many diamonds we've got. This is also all the redstone and the coal and everything. And you can see in my inventory, I have a bunch of stuff as well. So at this point in time, we're averaging around about three stacks of diamonds for every 10 days, which is about right. That's what I was expecting. I'm happy with that. That means in 100, in 100 days, we're going to get 30 stacks of diamonds, if all goes to plan. 
that's a lot. So let's not waste any time talking. I need to move? Actually, no, I've still got quite a decent chunk left to do here. I'd say we can spend at least a few days in this area. And recently I've been doing a bit of a new technique where I kind of take out the area in strips of four block wide areas, partly because just going manic like this was making me very motion sick over long periods of time. But I have no idea if it's better, if it's more efficient, if it's working quickly. I don't know, I guess only time will tell. I mean, a whole day has passed and I've found nothing, so at the minute it's a little bit pants. Finally. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Day 36. Woo, woo. Day 37. And I think I've gone as far as I can go with this area, so let's move spots. Day 38. And we are in business. I'm so rich that I'm even putting a diamond into the beacon. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Woo. E -thoo. Woo -hoo. I think my woos could do with a little bit more enthusiasm. This is so much more fun than that boring strip technique that I was doing. I don't care how much it hurts my brain. And it seems to be faster as well. Like, I seem to get more diamonds when I'm doing it this way. Why am I able to constantly right click on redstone ore? Is this something that people know about? Do people know about this? I feel like people probably know about this. The technical people are laughing at me right now. I'm getting some first 10 days vibes here because I'm getting a serious string of luck on the diamond front. We had a bit of a dry spell, but day 41, day 41 is my day. No further diamonds were found on day 41. All right, day 42. Day 42 is my day. No further diamonds were found on day 42. Day 43 though, day 43 is my day. I think I'm going to stop saying that now. And here we are. Minecraft day 45. We are 45 days into the process and things are going incredibly well. Incredibly, incredibly well. Am I slightly losing my marbles from just doing this for what? How long have I been doing this now? Eight hours straight? Yes, yes, uh, slightly. I think my eyeballs will never be the same again, but look how many resources I have managed to get. And we have, we have another shulker box in here that's filled with stuff as well. This is good. This is very, very good. Right, I'm going to go and eat a burrito, and then we're going to do another 20-day monstrous time lapse. Because, you know, who needs working eyes anyway? And I guess following on from that, I want to actually pose a question to you who are watching this video right now, because I'm sure there's some of you out there who are watching this and just laughing at how pitiful this is as a session. You know, I'm someone, I can play Minecraft for long stretches of time, but I would say I cap out uh, around about 13 hours. I would say 13 hours, you know, in a day, I start to just lose my marbles a little bit. That's kind of like my tipping point. But I, I have to ask, you know, I have to, I can't not ask. There, there's got to be some people out there who are watching this video right now who have just done monstrous, monstrous sessions. You know, I would be curious to see what would actually happen to me if I was to play for 24 hours straight. But I genuinely think, I don't think I'd ever be the same again. You know, there'd be a before 24 hour session and then after 24 hour session version of me. It would be like, it would be like uh, BC and AD. You know, that's how you would describe it. I'd be, a, I'd be a changed man and I don't know if I want to go through that experience personally. It is now the next morning and I'm tired. I played Minecraft for a pretty solid stint yesterday from 8am until about 1am, but we are now on... Day 66. And I would show you all the resources I've gathered here, but it's getting to the point now where there's so many that I don't want to do it in a dangerous place because if a creeper blows them up, I will cry. I was thinking about doing it over at my villager breeder, but for some reason even this doesn't feel safe enough. Let's do it in my base. Let's do it in the heart of my base where nothing can actually get to me and nothing, nothing can touch me. Boom. 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 And boom. These are... All of the resources that I've got so far, and this chest is the most important one because, as you can see, we've almost got 18 stacks of diamonds. 18 stacks of diamonds, but look how much redstone I've got. I've got enough redstone to actually make redstone contraptions for at least the next couple of weeks. I sound so tired. I shouldn't be recording within five minutes of waking up. Honestly, though, the main reason why I'm doing that is because I'm genuinely really enjoying myself. Having, like, a hard goal to work towards when it comes to mining makes it incredibly enjoyable. It doesn't feel like I've spent 13... 14 hours doing it. Anyway, on to the next mining location. Day 68, and we are back mining. And Coralis has just joined the server, which is always nice because I like him. Oh, day 69. I don't care that Netherite is now in the game. I don't think there's anything more satisfying than finding diamonds in Minecraft. Change my mind. I don't even need that many diamonds. Like, outside of the Hermitcraft shopping district, I don't think I've actually used diamonds to create tools or armor for probably months. Uh, literally months, but it's still, it feels like a really important resource to have. Oh, I've just realized that I actually used diamonds at the start of this video. <laughs> All right, okay, I, I take it back. It's this. This is the reason why I mine coal. Because occasionally when you get to the end of the coal, you find a diamond. Is there really no more diamonds? Oh no, that's gonna ruin my whole point. We're on to day 72 now, and it definitely feels like we're on the home straight. You know, we have got... 
28 days left to go, that's nothing. This 10 days has been incredibly, incredibly unlucky. Nothing is comparing to the first 10. I feel like that set such a high bar for what I would expect from 10 days that the rest is just all been a disappointment. Finally! I, I was starting to think that I would never find another diamond again. And now we're into day 75, and I would say it's time for another monstrous time lapse. You know, we're gonna go through another 20 days, and that will take us properly into the home straight. We'll be on day 95 by the end of this time lapse. So that is incredibly, incredibly exciting. Did I reveal any diamonds there by accident? No. That would have been so beautiful. But alas, I am certainly not that lucky. So now we embark on arguably the most challenging stretch, okay? I'm gonna liken this to a marathon because I've run a trail marathon before, never a road marathon, but I've run a trail marathon. And the way that it works is the first 10 miles, you're feeling great. You know, everything's going well, you're feeling fantastic, you're hyped up. Then the next 10 miles are pretty grim. Five miles after that, it's the worst. It's literally just, it's the worst. You, th Honestly, when I was doing my trail marathon, there was bits where I was running on a road and I thought if a car hit me, I wouldn't have to keep doing this marathon anymore and that would be great. <laughs> that would be favorable. So there, you go through that bit and then you've got the final mile, which is great and everything's happy. And that's kind of how it is with this mining session. Not quite as bad. You know, I wasn't hoping for cars to smash through my house and hit me. It wasn't that painful, but it's definitely the slog. Okay, it's the bit where you're just kind of sat there and yeah, you're just, it's just the long stretch. It's the long stretch, but you know that that little last little bit, those last five days, is going to be all smiles and happiness. At least I'm counting on it. So let's move on to the smiles and happiness. So here we are on the evening of day 94. I've just relocated my beacon position so that we can really make these last few days count. We're doing really quite well on the resources front. We have got tons upon tons of the stuff, but there's still 5% of this process left and I want to make it work. So I need to stop standing around on this beacon not doing anything and I need to start swinging my pickaxe around. And now that B00's joined the game, I know that the days are going to be very short. See? He's, he's gone to sleep. He's immediately arrived and gone to sleep. I didn't even realize that it was night time. All right, we're now on day 96. And now he's left. I swear he just logged in to go to sleep and now he's gone. Things are not going strictly to plan. It's day 97, I haven't found any extra diamonds, and worse, my internet's just dropped out, so I've had to connect to the server using my mobile phone as a hotspot. Goodness gracious me, it's now day 98 and I still haven't found any more diamonds. I'm starting to think I'm not going to find any more diamonds in this process. Yes! Yes, we actually managed to find some. Yes, there's more down there. There is more down there. There's... Yes, this is why you mine out the blocks around diamond doors that you find, okay? This is definitely a little bit dicey on my little hotspot connection. <laughs> but it looks like we actually have two separate veins of diamonds here, so this is not to be missed. My luck is turning. My luck is definitely turning here. It is now day 99. I can feel the end. It's by my fingertips. What's funny is the average Hermitcraft episode probably takes a similar duration of time as this video is taken. It's just very rare that I do it in such a focused... I'm not gonna say the word monotonous because I've actually found this oddly relaxing, sort of meditative in a way. But it is, it's very, it's a very simple activity. It doesn't require my brain to be activated in the slightest. It's just allowed me to just sit and just click. <laughs> that's all, that's all I have to do for, you know, around about 20 hours. I've listened to an awful lot of podcasts by endurance athlete Rich Roll, and he's been speaking to an awful lot of endurance athletes in the podcast that I've been listening to. And in a weird way, I feel like I've also been doing my own endurance event. A lot less moving, a lot less miles covered, you know, probably a lot less tiring as well, but it's definitely been an endurance event. A battle between the mind and my right hand fingertip. <laughs> I'm going insane, aren't I? All insanity aside, day 100, we're almost there. We're currently at the fried egg stage of the clock. You know, it's where the sun kind of looks like a bit of a fried egg. Oh, whoa, I was too busy looking at the fried egg. I almost became a fried... something. <laughs> I don't know what I would have become, but... Oh, if I had died just at the very end, that would have been disappointing because somehow I've managed to not die yet. Anyway, here we are. This is it. Day 100. I guess I have to do the entire day. I have to mine for the entirety of day 100 to get this, this process completed, but we've reached the day. This is the day that I've been waiting for. I definitely have gone a little bit bananas, haven't I? Especially because, and I really don't know how to put this. I don't know where the sugar box with all my diamonds has gone. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know, and I'm not joking. Oh, I just remembered. I but I actually took them out of the sugar box for some bizarre reason and put them over here. 
<laughs> genuinely, genuinely was genuinely panicking. Like, terrified, terrified. Absolute terror aside, the 100 days is now over. I have completed 100 full days of mining, and this is how much I managed to get. So first things first, we have got redstone for days. This is ridiculous. So we're doing very well in that department. Uh, we've also got a ton of coal, which is going to fuel all of the super smelters that I have, which is absolutely fantastic news. We've got a bunch of lapis, which is pretty useless, I'm going to be honest with you. But the thing that everyone cares about is how many diamonds have I managed to get in total? This many. Not bad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. You know, that is not a bad number of diamonds to have collected manually mining just the old school old fashioned way. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed my 100 days of mining on the Hermitcraft server. It's been a ton of fun. It's been interesting. It's been incredibly profitable. I'm very happy. I hope you're happy and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. And I guess it's worth asking, you know, were you surprised by the number of resources? How many resources were you expecting me to get? I think I was most surprised by the quantity of redstone. That is not something that I was expecting. You know, I was expecting maybe half a double chest of redstone blocks, so to get a full double chest is nuts. I can go crazy with my redstone contraptions now. I'm unlimited. I can do whatever I want.